Hey everyone, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We are back here on the old family farm for another throwback Thursday. I was actually just kind of running around trying to remember where we left off last time and then I remembered one thing for sure. I kind of screwed up last time we were here. And I'll tell you what I did. So, we spent and did all that work uh, collecting straw bales, right? Fine. And we went over to the store over there yonder, sold them, made some good money, all happy, not even thinking twice about how much I was paying our gentleman to do our field work. That hired helper that I used to do all the plowing cost us like a thousand dollars. I didn't even think about it. So there you go. Money out, money made, money spent. Um, so my question to you is this, and I'm, I'm, I think I know the answer, but we're on economic difficulty hard, right? Because we're in the Dust Bowl, we're in the the years of financial difficulties and stuff. Uh, I always forget what's the name of that. Um, uh, okay, it'll come to me later. Anyways, also the revenue of contracts is based on this factor. Um, difficulty affects buying and selling prices. It doesn't say hired helper rates, though. But it sure seems to me like the hired helper was kind of expensive. Maybe it just felt that way because we had such a little money. You guys all better be careful because you're next on the chopping block if we end up uh, with zero money in, in, the, uh, in the bank account. So enjoy your time spent now. Some good news... Maybe some good news. Oh, I don't have a lot of gas. Um, the guy over at... I couldn't remember his name. I can't remember his name. Shoot. Man, watch out, chickens. Um, the dude over at the general store over here. He is going to give us a really good deal on our mower. So we're going to run over here and we are going to grab this mower and see if we uh, can get it to use. Because I think one way or the other, I think it's going to be a little bit of a money maker for us if we can get some of our grasslands mowed. So here is the mower in question. Get the thing into gear. Come on, get in the gear. There you go. Let's see if this will bring it home. Okay, perfect. So, this is what we're going to try. I suppose we could even mow. Can we mow? Yeah, we can mow just pulling it with the Jeepster, I guess, if we really wanted to, but... Yeah. All right. So we got to pay him. And uh, I told him I'd drop off some cash later. It's going to cost us 100 bucks, which I thought, you know, eh. Tried to barter with him a little bit. He wanted 150 That's a little steep right now for today's economic climate. So um, I told him I would... Uh, sweeten the deal with some honey when our bees start producing. That sounds weird. Do bees produce? I should say cows produce. Why am I only going 12 miles an hour? What's going on with the Jeepster? Interesting. Do I have, like, do I have the gearbox turned on? I'll have to look at that. All right, well, let's park our mower here and uh, get our Jeep put away. Look at the chickens already in the way. Didn't waste any time at all. Boy, this Jeep's turning radius is not the best. 
Oh, it's my wheel. Yeah, my wheel's, uh... My steering wheel isn't turning all the way the way I wanted it to. That might explain it. I'll have to look at that later and see what's going on there. Alright, we're going to park the Jeepster. I don't know if I can get... Yeah, oh, kind of stuck. Can we get out? Come on. Maybe squat? Nope, alright. Hop on the bike and get out. Oh, nope, there we go. Oh, there we go. Alright. Alright, so... We got a mower. A lizard. A lizard... Is that a GHC? Or a CHC? It's one of the two. Alright, let's check this thing out. Let's see what she can do. Um, not sure how many horsepower it requires. But we'll get the farm <laughs> we'll get the farm all going on. And I think the John Deere actually, where's the John Deere? Oh, okay. Well, you know what, Mr. Deer? We're not going to be doing... Ooh, sorry, chicken. Did I just land on you? You guys are everywhere, though. I can't help. Okay, this is going to bug me. My wheel... The turning radius or something on my wheel is messed up. So that... So here's my wheel turned all the way. And then if I go to the keyboard... You see that? It turns another few degrees. So, yeah. I got to look at my... Uh, my G Hub, Logitech G Hub software, and see if I've got that setting messed up. Hope you're all doing good. Thursday night, one more day, and it's the weekend. Yay. I've never used this mower before. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Do we lower it? No. Do we. What, what do we... Uh-oh. It says it's on. Hmm. It's not looking good. I, I don't know about this. Um, let's turn it off. Let's go over some... Let's go over here. Where there's some grass. Oh! Oh, man. Just his tail. And let's just see if... Um, I mean, we got a lot of grasslands around here, so we should be able to, you know, we should be able to hook up a pretty good amount of grass I'm cutting, right? Is this just a bad idea? So, you can't lower it. I'm looking at my, my mouse to see if there's something I can do with the mouse. Uh, so it basically it just says turn on mower. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, alright. I mean, it wasn't expensive. It was pretty cheap. Um... I, I, I don't know. And it oh and apparently it doesn't it's got a twelve mile twelve mile an hour working speed, so that's not bad. Wow, but how long is this gonna take to mow, not just to mow a field, but to mow enough to make it economically worthwhile. That's my question. Is like, is it one of these deals where this is just going to be kind of a waste? Hmm. We'd be faster... It'd be faster to get one of those leave it to beaver mowers. Well, maybe not. No, no, it wouldn't be. You know the kind of mowers I'm talking about? Those mowers that the old school 1950s mowers, that the push ones? Yeah. 
I had to use one of those one time when I was a lot younger at my grandparents house they had a regular mower but for some reason I know now I know why now I should say um, it makes more sense to me now why they made me do it just to get all the energy drained out of me but they made me use that stinking thing um, in their backyard and I'll tell you not the funnest work in the middle of uh, in the middle of summer but I think my grandpa was kind to me and at least had the blade sharpened so yeah so we've got a lot of grass I mean we've got a lot of grass that we can cut I just don't know um, value wise Grass makes more than straw, and we did kind of okay with straw. So I guess that's my thinking here. Um, I don't know how much grass we're going to produce compared to straw. I would think it would be at least similar. I know the chickens are kind of freaking out a little bit, probably wondering what's going on here. Farm's going to look a bit different because I'm literally going to mow every square inch of grass I can find to make this worthwhile. I have to at least pay off the stinking mower. We have to make enough to pay off the mower and the gas that we have to use in the old John Deere. Um, you know, I mean, financially, we've got to be somewhat respectful. Otherwise, we're not going to survive. We can't hunt, so, I mean, all of our food has to be store-bought, pretty much. I guess we could do a little gardening, but even that's going to take extra cash that we don't really have. Oh, man, this, tell you what, i got to work this wheel. All right, so there we go. There's our first little plot of land mowed up. And now I'm beginning to wonder... Uh, we don't have a wind rower, do we? Hmm. <laughs> that was something I was thinking about last time, was if we're going to be doing a lot of mowing, we definitely don't have a wind rower. Um, oh, it'd be so much easier. with We have to get a wind rower. I mean, I don't want to have to go, oh, no, I don't want to have to bail like that. Uh, where's our wind rowers? Here they are. Whoa, no, no, no. That is definitely not our era. And look at the price. Five grand? Do, do. $2,500. That's way too fancy. I don't know what else we're... Oh, I think I know what wind rower we could use. I don't have it loaded. A mod, though. I know exactly the wind rower we can use, I think. But I don't think I have it loaded. Actually, my game Steam, do you have a wind rower in your Porsche pack? Uh grass roller. Oh, oh, right there. That's kind of the style I'm thinking. But even but maybe like I think I know of a mod that has just like one thingy, not the doubles. I think it might even be a little more simplistic than that one. Oh, he's even got a tether. Two tethers. No, what's this? Oh, that's a weeder. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, that's that's kind of expensive. 2100 bucks. We might have to wait till next Throwback Thursday to uh, do the wind rowing. And I'll find that wind rower. In fact, I think there's a couple of them. Look at that bad boy for corn. I saw that and I was like, yeah, if we're going to plant corn, that thing would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? That's three grand, though. Whew. What's this little guy here? Oh, yeah, that's that one. Okay. Yeah, all right. 
We'll have to figure something out for the wind, row wind rowing because there's no way I want to bail without wind rows. That, that's just going to be, I don't think, well, not, you know, not that any of this is particularly <clears throat> um, a walk in the park, but, oh my gosh, I just had massive <clears throat> uh, memory um, deja vu or memories about this field that we're doing right here with the mowing. Wow, I so remember. I should move over. We need to take advantage of all all the grass we can. Oh, this is, we don't own this land? Oh, do we own this? Am I over too far? Oh, I was over too far. Yeah, I, I spent a lot of time mowing this field. Oh, it is moving. Wait a minute. So it, it only moves. Okay. I Okay. I Oh, my gosh. I don't even want to admit. I don't even want to admit to how I thought this mower actually worked. But I'm so getting it now. It just, the light bulb just went on big time for me. Okay, I'm going to admit it. I'll tell you guys just because I'm willing to. So, see this gizmo on the top here? For some reason, I thought, I knew it wasn't PTO driven, but I thought, I guess I just didn't look at it that close, but I thought there was some kind of motor back here. But it's not. This thing is glorious. It's like the most simplistic thing ever. The wheels turn, turns the axle. There's a gearbox in there. What do they call that? The um, uh, what do they call that thing in the differential? Like a differential gear set in there that turns, spins those belts, which in turn spins the mower. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I didn't even, I guess I wasn't really even paying close enough attention. That's pretty sweet, though. Because I just looked behind and I'm like, that thing's spinning. That thing is sweet. Oh, I like this mower. I didn't know if I'd like it that much when, I first, when we first started, but now I'm, like, super into it. That thing is sweet. Look at that baby spinning. That's got nice little animation there. It's really, it's nice mod. Yeah. I I feel very silly not um, having figured that out originally, but look at that baby go. Those are like new um, Goodyear gator belts on there too. <laughs> I don't know if they're gator belts, but yeah, those are some nice belts even on there. Okay. See, it's aerodynamic, too. Look at that. I mean, let's face it. The thing is built for speed. Actually, I'm glad it does 12 miles an hour. Um, if I'm being honest, I I would totally expect this thing to, more, to be in more of the 4 or 5 miles an hour uh, range. But... Uh, pleasantly surprised that it'll that it keeps up at 12 those blades must be sharpened yeah this thing's sweet okay now I'm into it now I'm definitely uh oh a little jerky there the wheel got away from me yeah I gotta remember to fix uh, what do they call that the wheel degrees I'm not sure why they're off um, to be honest I wasn't really messing with them I was messing with some other stuff, but not the wheel stuff. Had another uh, graphics driver uh, from NVIDIA update today, so if you're seeing a little bit of little little bit of weirdness there once in a while, it's going to be that way until we play some more on this map. You know, I used to look forward to graphics driver updates. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I'm kind of a driver... Uh, driver update enthusiast and I mean I'll update drivers even if there's nothing wrong you know I just say oh driver update go you know 
Is everything working great? Everything's working working perfectly. Driver update, install it. Because there's always that little thing in the back of my head that's like, yeah, Brad, everything is working good, but if you get the driver update, will it work even better? That's the thing. And then sometimes, though, you know, you have to remind yourself, yeah, but sometimes you break stuff, too, you know, make things worse. So, I don't know. It's kind of the argument. It's the same thing for, like, your system BIOS. If you guys are into that kind of stuff and uh, into the BIOS updates and things. And I was always taught, like, earlier on in earlier computing, computing days not to update the BIOS unless you had to. Like, unless you're actually fixing something, leave the stinking BIOS alone. And I think that was fair many years ago because updating the BIOS many years ago was, it seemed like a more riskier adventure. Like, it's a little smoother these days. And I think that with the advancement of, like, dual BIOS, where, you know, you've got that backup BIOS there, or... In my case, um, if the BIOS fails, um, I think, yeah, actually, I think there is a backup BIOS on my board. I was messing around in there, by the way, the other day, and uh, doing my little YouTube, you know, YouTube watching. Came across some video, and uh, it was like, you know, these easy BIOS tweaks. You know, might be able to get you more FPS. And I should know better. I really should, because I'm a tech guy. But I get sucked in. I get sucked in. And I'm watching it, and I'm like, you know what? Actually, that kind of makes sense. You know, this isn't some snake oil. So, you know, turn off YouTube, jump on the computer, um, and decide, yep, I'm going to do that. So I hop in the BIOS. Stinking telephone pole. I wonder if that's got... That may not have... That actually may not have collisions. We're going to find out next round. Um, so I jumped off YouTube. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Once you get stopped on this thing, it takes a bit to get her going again. Um, so I jumped off YouTube, ran over to the computer, rebooted into the BIOS... Actually, there was more. It was more involved in that because this was like uh, memory timings for your system memory, for your RAM, and uh, so I'm like, yeah, I'll check that out. Squeeze a little bit extra juice out of there. Why not? And um, so after I got all the all the information I needed, and I ran. There was some couple utilities you needed to run. I think one was uh, a DRAM calculator. And something called Typhoon... Typhoon something. Anyways, I got all my information, got all my timings. Is this thing a uh, collision? Are you a collision? Oh, you are a collision. Um, got all my timings, got all my information I needed. Oh, yeah. Ran over to the computer and started my adventure down memory lane huh, so to speak now I've done overclocking uh, CPU GPU uh, I've even done some underclocking that kind of thing and I'm no expert don't get me you know don't get me wrong but I at least have you know some general fundamental knowledge of it right enough to be dangerous but I haven't really messed around with memory overclocking and I thought well I'm just going to go for it well I did and put my little stuff in there rebooted yeah done black screen nothing and I'm sitting there thinking to myself you know I had, you had to do it, you know. You couldn't leave well enough alone. You had to try and get, you know, another 20 nanoseconds out of your RAM 
because generally that's I mean if we're being honest with the speed that PC hardware is these days now you, you, you're just not generally speaking I'm talking in generalities I'm not saying that there is overclocking that can add a lot but for the most part you're not going to gain a ton like you used to be able to gain a lot more and it made sense a lot more too because things man it was expensive and if you're going to pay um, that kind of money for like an old Pentium old old Pentiums you tried to overclock as best you could because you know the things cost so much well got the black screen and I'm thinking to myself yep uh, what am I going to do now and, and I'm thinking yeah there's a there's a little button um, actually there's not a button um, on my motherboard thank you Gigabyte by the way for not making this the easiest thing in the world but on my motherboard you have to um, use a jumper you have to jumper uh, a couple of jumper pins so you take a it sounds crazy but you take like a screwdriver or a or a uh, what do I call it? paper clip or something and you have to basically you know touch two little jumper pins together and it clears the CMOS or your your BIOS or your UFI, whatever you want to call it these days. And um, so I'm already thinking that in my head, like, okay, I know where those are because I looked in the motherboard manual, and now I got to pull this the case out and blah blah blah. So I powered it off and I thought, you know, let's just try something. And I powered it back on. And thank you, Gigabyte, for making it so that you knew that I messed up and they automatically reset the CMOS for me, the, the, the BIOS for me. So that was really cool. So I got a message came up and says, hey, maybe you shouldn't be messing with things you don't know enough about, but we went, went ahead and reset your BIOS and um, you know, don't do that again. So what did I do? I did it again, because I thought, oh, I think I know what maybe I did wrong. So I did it again. And once again, black screen. And once again, Gigabyte said, hey, this is number two. We're telling you, this is a, you know, this is a no win situation for you. This is a, a dark tunnel you're heading down here. Don't mess with your memory timings. Leave it to us. So I booted up into Windows and I went back and I reviewed all my information because something was telling me I must have done something wrong with my calculations and so on and so forth. Which I don't think I did, but I did come up with some different values just based on some other variables you can change. And I tried it again. And guess what again happened? So, third time's a charm, I finally decided, nope, nope, wow, that was a good one, I am not going to mess around anymore with this, this is not, this is not good, because one time it's not going to power back on for me, and I'm going to wish I just left it alone, you know, how many times has that happened, I can think of how many times I have been either working on my car or messing around with some electronics <laughs> and uh, you get into it and you know you should probably quit maybe come back to it tomorrow or something but you don't and then you really break it and wish you you know would have never done that in the first place so so I don't really know what the moral of the story is you know I do know that if you're going to mess around with stuff if you're going to overclock if you're going to mess around with your BIOS and stuff like that have an out you know have an out 
know know what you are gonna need to do before going into it if things go south. I guess is kind of what I'm thinking. So I generally look, you know, like I'll look online if I'm thinking about going down some undiscovered path. I'll I'll look online and be and and I'll actually be like, okay, so what could happen if I do this? My PC may not boot. And I'll look online and actually look on, whoa, man, hit the brakes here, buddy. And I'll look and see, like, do an actual Google search on, like, um, changed memory timings in the BIOS PC no longer boots. <laughs> and I'll see what, <laughs> what some people say. And I already have that in my head before going into it, so I might have, you know, a solution if I run into something. It used to be... I don't know, I'm enjoying this mower, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh man, frame rate, hello. Um, it used to be... before the days of Google... and I... And I I don't know how to say this without sounding... I don't know. Well, I, okay. A buddy of mine that uh, that's a technician as well said to me one time, he's like, he's like, look, if I don't know what how to fix something, you know, you Google it. And he's right. You know, I mean, you can't... There's no point in, in spending two hours trying to figure something out on your own anymore when you've got Google. You just have to be careful what your sources of information are because there are still a lot of people out there that um, unfortunately just spread bad information either purposely or not purposely. It's just bad information. But I'll tell you what, we should just start a mowing business because this mower is extremely satisfying to use. I don't know why it, what it is about it, but very satisfying to use, indeed. Made quick. Actually, that that's not bad. We made pretty quick work of this field. I'll be super interested to see what kind of profits we're talking about um, for grass because this might be a pretty good deal I mean we definitely still need to get our crops planted and we need to finish that um, but to maybe have some of this supplemental income not bad at all I mean, you can get right into the bushes here, sneak right up alongside them. We just need a good, uh, a good wind rower. We need a good wind rower that's not going to break the bank. I got to pay the dude at the store a hundred bucks for this, and uh, I don't want to take a loan. Banks aren't too thrilled about handing out money these days, so we need to do the best we can to with what we have. So you can turn this mower off, so there must be a brake on it somewhere. Does that say lizard? Are those belts actually labeled lizard? That's pretty sweet. I think they are. What do you guys think about the the mower? Oh, and it's got an... Okay. Okay. It's got a hitch on the back. Oh, man. If we find the right wind rower with a simple hitch like that, like an old school American wind rower, what do they call those things? Um, uh, Wheel... Wheel... Uh, da, 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 da. I forget what they're... 
there's a name for them. They're like wheel rowers or not this style, not the PTO ones, but the ones that actually run off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not a good example there. That Porsche kit had the style. I looked them up one time. The old wheel rowers. Maybe that's what they're called is wheel rowers. But uh, no, you know, nothing mechanical to them. You don't need a PTO. These things just spin on the ground and go to town. This would be a really nice wind rower to have, but we can't afford that right now. All right, so I'm going to try and find another solution. Hopefully one that will hook onto the back of this thing so we can just go to town on all this grassland that we own. Because I think we have, besides that field over there, I mean, we've got this, which isn't much, but I think we have access to this. If we have access to this, and I think we have access to that stuff over on Grandma's farm, too, where we were at last episode. Uh, let's go here. Oh, we don't. I'm over here, aren't I? Yeah, we don't have access to that. Shoot. Okay. Well... That's okay, though. That's all right. I think we might have more grass work over here, too. What's uh? Oh, man. So we own almost all the way over to there. Yeah, we'll have to check that out. This would be awesome to own this, though. This huge grass field here. I think we can do pretty good, though. And I think we could even mow if we wanted to. I know I'm getting all excited about mowing, right? We must own some of this, though, and I think we can mow all this in here. Because we definitely own all of that. Oh, yeah, we own plenty, plenty of land. Let's go check our... Where's our beehives? There they are. I wouldn't expect to see anything here yet. Yeah, they're happy. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for joining me on uh, another Throwback Thursday. I do appreciate it. The John Deere Farm Implement sign. Wouldn't that be sweet to have in real life? That That's pretty sweet. Not the right colors, though, right? The blue? Oh, well. Still looks really nice. We've also got this uh, two-row, what is this, a two-row um, planter we can use as well. We've got plenty of things and work to do here on the farm, no doubt. Awesome. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining me again here on Throwback Thursday. Uh, tomorrow morning, Friday morning at 11 Eastern, I'll have another episode of Boochern. So if you have a chance, please uh, join me there. Hi. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate you watching. All take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Very important. And I'll see you again real soon. And actually, we need to go pay. We need to go pay our... We'll go pay off our... Our more. I'll see you guys.